Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you the brand new changes that happened in the iMovie update. So, you may know iMovie, a uh, mobile version, to be a very non-powerful software. Like, the software itself was not really that powerful, but now iMovie has released a very big update that has made iMovie a ton more powerful than it has before. So, let's go through all of the new features. Now, the first feature, when you go to the text, there's actually brand new types of text. So they've actually added new text called slide, chromatic, and split, and also focus. But that's not the only thing that they added to iMovie. You can actually resize text and move text around to be where you want the text to be. Now, there's no rotation of the text yet, and that would be very, very nice. But you can resize it and do like a sm sort of small lower third, or you can make it really big and make it like, like all explosive and stuff. And there are even more things that they added. So when you go into the filters page, when you're selecting a clip, you can see that they've added comic, comic mono, and ink. But that's not all. You can actually change the blending of the filters. So you can have the blend to be something like 50% like somewhere in the middle or you can have it completely all the way like 100% and they've done that with every single filter that is here it's not just the new ones so when you select black and white you can actually choose how much black and white you want your clip to be now kind master has this too but what they've added into iMovie is when you click the little plus button and then go to backgrounds They've actually added lots of uh, backgrounds for you to try. So you have solids like white, black, cyan, green, yellow, red, purple, pink. And you even have gradients going from the darker color to the lighter color at the bottom. And also they have really nice patterns. Now these are not just stock images as when you click on them. They actually have a color ring at the top here. And when you click on that... You can actually select what different colors are in the image. So, let's say we go to that first one. So, the triangles, like it changes the first row of triangles. So, let's say we want this to be like yellow. And then when you click on the other one, it actually changes the rest of the triangles for you. So, I'm gonna have it at an orange color. So, that's, uh, that's really, really nice. And also, you can add text like that. So I'm just gonna say this is a test. The animation is actually really nice. Now I do have a few complaints. Like there are lots of bugs when I want to change the volume of clips. It's actually such a hassle because when I turn it down to let's say a low volume, it's really laggy. You know, it's it's it wasn't laggy before like this. Like you see how laggy that is? So those are all the new features. Um go have fun, go ahead and update the iMovie thing and I am going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!